in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create your very own flag using a mock-up in adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and in this video we're going to be using a flag mock-up from Envato Elements to create or convert one of our designs into a flag. Now, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements and a special thank you to them for sponsoring this video and a special thank you to you guys for your continued support that has made it all possible. And Envato Elements has a very special offer for you guys that I'm gonna share at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around so you don't miss that offer. So the first thing we're going to be doing today is heading over to Envato Elements website and we're gonna be choosing a mock-up from the host of options that they have for us. So let's head on over to their website and see what they got. All right, so here I am on Envato Elements website. And what I wanna do is, let me just zoom in for you guys a little bit. I wanna go ahead and head to the search bar and I wanna go ahead and type in flag mockup. And you see they gave me some suggestions here. I want to look at flag mockups in graphic templates. Let's go ahead and click that. And then they'll give us a host of options here, which is pretty cool, right? So you see we have this one right here. Let me just click on that so we can look at it. This one is nice. I like how this red pops off of the sky. Even though we're gonna be changing it for whatever we want, I like how this one looks. And you know they have feather banners, you know, event promotional banners here. But the kind of flag that I want to be designing today or customizing today is a country flag, right? So let me go ahead and look at the one that I clicked. Let me zoom out. And this is pretty cool, right? Look how realistic this looks, right? Let me look at the other one that I like. And I just love, there's just something about this red. I'm just gonna go ahead and download this one. And then the cool thing about Envato Elements is before you download something, you can look right here and you can see the specification. It's an Adobe Photoshop file. You get a PSD file. They give you the color space and the dimensions, and they also have some notes here, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, so here I am in Adobe Photoshop, and I just opened the file that I downloaded, and you can immediately see what we have here, right? We have a bunch of groups here in this source folder. We have adjustments, we have seam, we have flag, we have flagpole, and we have sky, right? Now what you want to do is you wanna look for the group that says flag, right? Because this is most likely what you're gonna be editing. And the pretty cool thing about downloading graphic templates from Envato Elements is that all the layers within the project files that you download are often labeled to make it easier for you to navigate, right? Now I'm gonna look for the flag, which is down here, right? And this is the one I want to edit. If I turn it off, I can see how it reacts, right? Here, the one that says flag, and then I'm just going to double click on it, right? Because it's a smart object. I'm just going to double click and it will open it for me. And this is the same gray checkered background that you saw on the flag, right? And all you have to do now is just drag your design on top of this gray checkered background, or you can go to file and then place embedded, right? So let's do it. Let's click place embedded. And then I already downloaded a Jamaican flag that I want to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in the Jamaican flag. I'm just gonna double click it and then click enter to place it. And that's the file that I want to use, right? But what I also wanted to do was I wanted to go ahead and bring in my Learn Share logo, right? So let me just go ahead and go to file, place embedded again. And then let me go ahead and just bring in my learn share logo right and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a white background behind the learn share logo I'm just going to come down here to my layer options create a solid color and then i want this to be white and then i'm just going to hit ctrl and t for my transform options and then i'm just going to size down my learn share logo right to about there because I just want a white flag with the learn to logo just like waving in the wind right and that looks cool to me let me just size it down some more oh uh, yeah and then because we're working within this smart object we want the changes that we make within this smart object to take effect in the main project file so we have to save our changes right so let's just go ahead and hit ctrl and s to save what we just did now i can go back to my main project file in the flag and look at that 
we have our learn share flag how cool is that and obviously i could have changed the color to yellow if i wanted i could have just come here and just like pick pick the um the yellow right Control and s to save it then go back to our flag and you can see that the flag is yellow right but what i want to do i'm just going to use the jamaican flag let me turn this off turn on the jamaican flag and you see because of how wide the flag is it's not fitting completely i'm just going to go ahead and hit Control and t for my transform options and then i'm just going to go ahead and unlink the width and the height up top right the width and the height unlink that and then i'm just going to drag each side to cover the area that's not covered right and then I'm just going to hit this arrow or I could have pressed enter to just place my changes, right? Now I'm going to hit Control and S to save our smart object so it reflects in the main project, right? Let's go back and look what we have and how cool is that? But it gets even cooler. Remember, we have sky options, right? Remember, we saw the sky folder earlier. Let me just close this flag folder here. And let me just go down to sky before we get to sky let's look at flagpole you can see they have we have some effects on here we have levels you see that that makes the flagpole lighter and we have hue and saturation right so let's keep it as is for now and let's open the sky group to see what options we have in the sky group right this one is just white this is just a white background look at that how cool is that right and they have another option here they have another one here this one is real nice. This one looks very, very real. What do you guys think? Let me make this full screen. I like this one. This one looks very real. This blue is nice as well. Maybe too perfect. But this one, this one looks real. But this, the blue here is making the colors of the flag just pop, right? And I really like this one. So I think I may use this one. What do you guys think? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save everything that we did here. Control and S to save. Wait, Control Shift and S to save because remember we got a Photoshop file from Envato, right? And I want to save it as something different. That way I can always have my original flag uh, mockup file, right? Let me just name it LSPV flag mockup, right? And then with tutorial, and then let's click save. And then now I can go ahead and hit save as I'm just going to go ahead and save a JPEG or PNG that we can post on Instagram, right? Let's just click OK. And that's all we're going to be doing for today. We saw how to create a custom flag using a mockup from Envato Elements. And as promised, Envato Elements wants to give you guys a very special offer. They're giving you 70% off a month's subscription from their website and all you have to do is click the first link in this video's description and claim that discount right now no questions asked 70% off it's all yours and I think it's a really good deal I've been using inviter elements for years so trust me it's a win-win situation so with all that we've done here today what do you guys think about this flag mockup have you ever used a flag mockup before and do you see yourself using a flag mockup in the future for yourself or a potential client? Maybe you can do a design for Independence Day when your country is celebrating independence. You have a lot of ways in which you can use it. So thank you guys so much for watching. A special thank you to Envato Elements as well for sponsoring this video. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video.